Hey, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here, bringing you another Jump Spot, Nade Spot, and Lines of Sight video for the maps Nuketown 2025 and Hijacked. And just to let you know real quick, next week I plan on doing the map Plaza, and I'm thinking Raid. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. Let me know if you guys want to see that down below in the comments, or if you want to see any other maps. But besides that, let's get into this. So the first map we're going to work with is Nuketown 2025, and actually there's for, actually for both of these maps, there's not really a lot of Jump Spots, Nade Spots, or Lines of Sight for both of them, because they're both really, really small and similar in shape and stuff. But for Nuketown 2025, we got some good spots. Kind of a uh, review from Black Ops 1, but for those of you that just got the game, here we go. So the first jump spot is on Sea House. As if you guys didn't know, you can jump up onto this, like, base of this thing right here. And you can actually, this is a ladder, and you can crawl up to the top and jump into the top window and kill people and anything. And on the other side, it's the same thing on A House. You can jump up and crawl up this ladder. And actually, you can jump to this sign here from that ladder. But a cool thing that I didn't know... And I think they just put this, I didn't think you can do this in Black Ops 1, but you can jump up onto this Nuketown sign right here. And you can actually jump up onto the porch ledge thing right there. And you can take people out by surprise into that, that are camping up in that window room. And, you know, it's a good spot. I actually used it once. People don't expect you coming from there. So, that's cool. And that's it for all the jumps and spots. So, now I'll move on to some lines of sight. First being this blue car over here. You can do this when the car is not blown up or blown up. Either way, it still works. So, what you're going to want to do is jump up on top of the car. And at this left corner of the hood, you want to sprint jump onto this mannequin and jump on her head. And you can actually stand on it. And you have a nice view into the spawn back here. Easy kills to pick up. And people don't really expect it. You can only see their head, as you can see from this view right here. But... It's a good spot, good sniping spot, and you can actually, if you have a sniper, you can shoot the people that are hiding or spawning in from behind the fence with a sniper rifle. You can do that too. And this also works for the other side, the A side. It's not as good, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can jump on top of this fin, and you have a nice view of, a nice line of sight into their spawn, and you can also jump onto the mannequin, which isn't always there. He's there some games, and gone in others, but you can, again, have a nice line of sight into their spawn, and... I know it's not useful, but you can, like, I don't know, get a nice view into their spawn and see where they're coming from. And the other line of sight I have, which is actually really, really good, if people are camping up in the C window, you can actually jump up to the base of this ladder at A and look through the bus and the truck, and you have a nice line of sight into that window, and you can take them out. Pretty nice line of sight. I think that's only in Black Ops 2, so it wasn't there in Black Ops 1. And now on to some nade spots. This is a, actually a flash spot. It doesn't work with the nade all the time unless he's standing. Actually, it doesn't even work when he's standing right next to the thing. But instead of throwing a nade like I do, you can actually throw a flash or a stun into the chimney right here. You want to aim a little lower than the top. And it'll go down the chimney and flash the guy on the other side. And you can run in and take him out, especially if there's a hard or, or not a hard point in there. A hard... Oh, wait, actually, there is a hard point in there. A hard point or a headquarters in there. You can run in and take them all out. Pretty nice line of... Or <laughs> flash spot. And then we have two nades for B if people are capping B. Um, first being the C, you can run up to the corner of this microwave things, I guess. They're called microwaves, that's what it says. You want to get the middle of your crosshair at the end of this rail right here when you're all the way up in the corner looking up. Then you want to rotate to line the bottom crosshair and the top crosshair aligned up with the B flag. And then you just want to back up and sprint jump and throw your nade and land right on B and kill them. Most of the time if they don't have a flak jacket. And then the other is for A side. You want to run up to this corner of the grass and the concrete right here. And then get your, or line your crosshairs up with the middle of B again. And then line the middle left crosshair up with the top of the roof. Let your nade fly and you picked up yourself a nice easy kill if someone's capping B. So that's it for Nuketown 2025. Now we'll move on to Hijacked, which is the other small map in Black Ops 2. And there's really not any jump spots. I mean, there's this basic one where you can jump into this building by the B windows. And you can jump in through the window on each side. And then you can also, at C, you can jump onto these boats back here. I don't know why you use it back here, but you can, and then you can hop yourself back up onto the boat, and, I mean, I guess it's a good hiding spot, but, you know, I don't really think it is. Now, this is just a little tip right here. Um, I didn't know how, I mean, I knew there was a bottom of the boat in this place, which is where the high, or the hard point is, actually, but I never knew how to get down there. It took me, like, three days to figure out how to do it, so, if you guys are just new getting this game, you can actually, right here, and see, this is how you get down there through this little tunnel thing, and it's the same thing on A, but it's located right here. So that'll save you some time if you can't figure out how to get down there. And the other tip I want to tell you real quick is you can actually run on the side of this boat, which I didn't know for like the first three days I had this game either. And um, you can run on the side of this boat on this plexiglass and run around and take enemies out by surprise. Now on to some lines of sight. This one is actually pretty good for the middle of the B-map. So what you're going to want to do, seaside, you're going to want to jump up onto this couch. 
and you can see through your right door right here and also you can see across this whole left side of the map and take people out by surprise get a nice view of where people are coming from and then go pop out and take them out you know it's a good line of sight for you guys to know and then the other line of sight is for C you can jump on this railing back here and then huddle up against this wall and you have a nice line of sight from that building that people like to camp in and then kinda like peek out and shoot people at and if you have it's a nice sniper spot if you have a sniper out really easy kill but I kinda I fail right here as you can see but I still take him out the second shot that was a that was an optic jewel shot right there but um yeah, that's it for lines of sight on this map. Like I said, there's not really much. And then I have two really basic nade spots for you. Not really that cool, but for the seaside, you can run to the corner of this plexiglass right here. Line the bottom of your crosser up with the line in the chair right there. And then the top of the wall, you want to place it right there and just let your nade fly. It'll roll right next to the B flag and take the enemy out that's capping it. And then for A side, what you're going to want to do is go on the high part of this chair, the second chair, closer to the A flag. And... Line the middle of your crosshairs up with the B marker and line the crosshair up with the like line on that boat right there as you can see and then just let your nade fly out or roll right next to the B flag and take out the capping enemy opponent. And that is it for the lines, the site, nade spots and all that for these two maps, Nuketown 2025 and Hijacked. Again, there's not that much, but that's all I could find for you guys for these two maps. And let me know what you guys want to see for the next episode. I'm, I'm thinking Plaza and maybe Raid. I'm not sure about Raid. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the comments below. And as always, I am Sinister Skater, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.